morning. Beautiful day today, a little bit windy, but uh, I've come down to the pond as always on the Sunday. I'm going to, I've already put about 300 litres of water in the pond as you can see. It's just finishing the last couple here. The pond's already full up again. It's taking about 600 litres of water a week at the moment, so it's quite a lot. Still got two more here to put in. I've put the food round for the birds. I think I'm going to set up the hide. It looks like it's going to be a nice day today. So I think I'll actually do a bit of photography. And um, please remember that uh, it really helps if you subscribe to the channel and, uh, and leave a like and a comment underneath. <coughs> if you have any questions, just leave them underneath and I can always answer them. Anyway, I'm going to finish off here now and then I'm going to get in the hide and do some photography today. Well, I've just closed the hide behind me and uh, as I've turned the camera on I've got the stone chat and a couple of green finch have already come down before the sun's even hit the area. There was a rather large heron at the pond as well. I think it's actually been feeding on the frogs because I can't hear many of the frogs at the moment so I think it's obviously had a good feast. And even a few of the linnets have come down before the sun's hit the pond as well. Got quite a few birds here this morning already come down for the seeds that I put. As I haven't been down for a couple of weeks, it might be a little bit slow today, but uh, looking at this, they still seem to be coming down straight away. We have <coughs> the peregrine falcon has just come into the area. As you can see, he's sitting on the perch to the right of the pond. It's about 50 metres, maybe, yeah, probably about 80 metres away. But um, it's close enough that he can actually see the birds on the pond because they've got extremely good eyesight. And obviously it makes the area go very quiet when they're on the hunt. Beautiful bird, but uh, <laughs> not very good for photography in the area while they're around. A little curl bunting has come in as well this morning. He's so windy, but uh, very strong wind this morning. It's keeping a lot of the birds to ground when it's this strong a wind, but uh, they're still coming in for the water, obviously. There's probably two of them. Ah, oh, there's another curl bunting up on the side. One of them's down drinking. There's the other one on the other side of the pond. They normally come in pairs. There's actually three of them here today. There's another one at the back of the pond. Okay, so we've got three curl buntings here at the moment. Oh, we've got a young Thecla's lark here as well. Now the sun's just coming to the front. They always come in as well. I can tell it's the young one. It's still got the young white feathers on the top of the head and around the shoulders. As the sun comes in, the pigeons have come down, or one of the pigeons, it's the rock pigeon, it's the wild rock pigeons, they're quite a nice bird. There's only one at the moment, it's just flown off, they always come down as the sun hits the pond. It's very quiet though this morning. Well, it's been so quiet this morning, I'm not sure whether it's the wind, the peregrine, or the fact that the heron was on the pond. Oh, I can hear a couple of red billed cores flying over. Uh, chaffs flying, sorry, red billed chaff flying over. There they are. Quite a few of them actually. There's about seven or eight of them flying over. And one of the blackbirds has finally come down for a bath as the sun's on the pond now. As I said this morning, is so quiet. I mean, it's, I don't think I've ever seen so few birds at the pond. And there's another blackbird here over the side. Oh, just got <coughs> oh, one of the curl bunting's back again. I've come down for a bath as well.
lovely little bird, these curl bunting. It's just flitting around both sides. It keeps darting from one side of the pond to the other. One of the young goldfinch from this year. You can tell it's a young one by the fact that there's no colour on the head yet. It's still got the, the young feathers on the shoulder. I haven't seen the goldfinch for quite a while actually. There seem to be quite a, quite a, quite a few less birds this year than last year. Especially with the finches. Little goldfinches come down with a green finch as well to have a drink. The wind is so strong today, I think this is what's keeping most of the birds away. It's very difficult for them to fly in this weather. Even the ones that are sitting on the perches are hanging on for dear life. We've got gusts of wind here about 35 40 kilometers an hour today, so. see what happens but I think that's one of the reasons it's so quiet today. The most regular birds around here today have been the curl buntings. So which is rather nice. They are lovely birds so it's nice to see them here. At least they're around today. I think I'm gonna call it a day soon actually because it's just getting so windy now. Well I'm afraid that's it. I'm going to have to call it a day. The wind is just so strong today. It's even blowing the camera around. It's ridiculous. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, um, please remember to subscribe to the channel. It all helps the channel grow. Uh, hopefully next time when I come down, it'll be a little bit better. The wind will be a bit lighter. And in the beginning of August, we normally get some of the other birds starting to come through so it should be a lot better um, please leave a like and a comment if there's anything you wish to know have a wonderful day everybody bye